I've had my Eureka moment. I'm building a platform that allows content creators to effectively manage their partnerships, you know, brand deals, things like that. Here's the thing. One of the main things I was thinking of, and it was one of the main problems I was running into, is how am I going to incentivize content creators to manually enter their sponsorships in the platform? I'm like, that doesn't really, that doesn't really work because people don't like doing work. Why would somebody pay for a platform that they have to manually enter something into? And like, you know, that doesn't really make any sense. What if I'm looking at this from the wrong angle? Before I was looking at it as, okay, my platform would provide the tools that they need to effectively do all this stuff. So here's what I'm thinking. Imagine you're a content creator and you want to have a brand sponsor you. What do you have right now? You have a little management email in your, in your bio or Instagram, or they DM you on Instagram or, or whatever it is. Doesn't matter. The point is, you know, there's many different channels for doing that. What I'm envisioning is something you put in your link tree. You take your link to BrandBridge, it's almost like a form, and you put in your link tree. You know, brand wants to sponsor you, brand clicks on that link in the link tree, they're brought to a form, and pretty much, it's it's pretty much a proposal. So the brand fills out the proposal, you know, this is what we're thinking, we'd love to work with you, da 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 They give all their info. You hit send, that information is automatically put through GPT-3 AI, converts all of that, you know, whether it's like an email style format or like a proposal style format, whatever it may be, converts whatever message that they send into a perfectly easy, understandable way that can be replicated across every sponsorship. So whether it's a fitness sponsorship, whether it's a, you know, a beauty sponsorship, or whether it's an outdoors, like doesn't matter what industry you're trying to do it in. All you need to do is have a place that somebody could submit that proposal to you, submit that brand request. And then from there, GPT-3 will automatically take the text that they inputted, convert it into an easy to understand UI, which, you know, no matter who's sending that in, it will still have the same user interface for familiarity. And then you can then look through, see, oh, what are the requirements for the project? What are the deliverables? GPT-3 sorts all of that out, figures out what exactly you need to do, converts that into the friendly UI. And then from there, you simply approve or decline it. Now it's not going to replace all communication through email. I don't want that to be the case because I think replacing all communication through email regarding sponsorships is going to be a much heftier task. There's three main features I need to have in the MVP. And the first one is obviously the most complicated. I need to have the ability for content creators to generate a link that they can put in their bio or link tree. From there, a brand or you know company that wants to sponsor them clicks on that link. They see a form, very simple, basic form. You know, it's a proposal. It, what more can you do? They fill out that information. Once that brand hits send, I need to send that information to my backend. From there, GPT-3 will take all that information and restructure it into something my front end can use to effectively show that information to the content creator. Once we've got that done, send an email to the content creator telling them that there's a new proposal. Hey, a brand wants to work with you. They log into the platform. They see that brand in the easy to digest, like super clean UI. I think the clean UI is really going to be what drives it because Without it, I mean, it's just going to be another platform where you can manage your tools. I and mean, really, you could just do the same thing in Notepad. But the difference here is that I want to take whatever email, whatever proposal, whatever style of that company entered into the form, and I want to convert that into something that is easily replicatable for any field. You know, it doesn't matter if it's Instagram posts, TikTok posts, just figure out the platform, figure out the deliverables, figure out the timeline, how much you're getting paid, what sort of company is this, what's the reputation. Organizing that all information into like one simple, easy to understand UI on a page, that's what's gonna differentiate my platform from anything else. Because all we need to do is have the ability for content creators to be like, hey, you know, get that link, put it in your bio, now people can use it, now people can sign in and submit that form to you. But enough talking about what I'm gonna do, I'll tell you right now about what I've done so far. Welcome, you're one step closer to accelerating the monetization of your audience. Very simple, MVP doesn't have to look amazing, it just has to look good enough to incentivize people to log in, create a plan, you know, create an account with it, see what it's all about. Logging in, I enter my test information and we'll log in. Okay, so dashboard so far, very basic concept. And so this is what I was kind of figuring for all the features that can be in the 1.0 version. The fact is, if people will pay for this MVP, that's my validation. It doesn't have to be amazing. All I need to have is like 10 people pay for it. And that's my validation right there. And ultimately, after I looked through all these different features, the main ones I settled on would be, were things like partnerships, you know, all your sponsorships, you need to be able to see them and effectively organize them, deliverables, because while sure, you can see all your sponsorships, really the main thing you're gonna focus on is sponsorships as a whole, but also what do you actually have to do? What do I actively need to be doing as soon as possible to fulfill my requirements with that brand? 
notifications. Now I'm implementing this soon because I don't think it's necessary 100% for the MVP. That's just going to be implementing the deliverables and things like that and partnerships into your actual you know, Google Calendar, iCloud, just mostly integration for other things. Um, I'm not going to implement the timeline in the program itself because it's much easier just to implement what we're already doing with what people already have. Uh, inbox, this is a big thing. Now, I also, in addition to having that AI generated sponsorship, I want to have a section where there's an inbox because if somebody likes the sponsorship, they should be able to communicate with that brand and it should be like a back and forth type thing. And, you know, we could do that through email as well, but I want to have the inbox built in just so that people can get used to having it all in one sort of place. And then the last one is just resources. So like things like email templates, contract templates, increasing partnerships. Ooh, I need to, that's hanging a little bit but increasing partnerships, just things for uh, content creators that are maybe just starting out and wanting to get more, because although this is a primary tool for people who have sponsorships, because the thing is, I also want this tool to be accessible for people who, you know, maybe don't have a single sponsorship yet. I want to give them the tools and resources for getting that first sponsorship, at which point the tool becomes infinitely more effective for them, right? So what comes next? Well, for me personally, I think that I need to finish this MVP. I need to get a basic, testable version, working and operational, and get it out to some people in my network. Uh, this isn't really the stage where I'm gonna start marketing it and saying, hey, you know, try out my product, you know, here's it, and try and monetize it and all that. I don't think that's what the right move is. I think what the right move right now is ensuring that this is an actual valid piece of software that companies and content creators can use. I mean, I'm probably gonna fail spectacularly in the beginning, but you know what, this is what it's all about. I mean, this is the process by which I'm actually going to make this work. I'm building something that people are gonna find useful. I'm testing out to make sure that they like what I like, think they like and they don't like what I think they won't like. So assuming I don't burn out from staying up until 4 a.m. every night, I think the next time you'll see me is when the MVP is done. So I look forward to seeing you guys then. Make sure to hit that like button and the bell icon because I don't have a consistent upload schedule and I hope you subscribe. Till the next one.